I'm Dr. Christopher Saunders. This is an educational video on doing homework for breast augmentation. What is homework? Homework is the process of figuring out what size breast implants we're going to use for your operation. This is the best part of breast augmentation. What size am I going to get? Are we looking for natural and small cups or, or are we looking for a bigger appearance to the breast? The term homework is purposely used by me because it's effort related. The more effort you as a patient put into figuring out your breast size, the better the chances of you are to be happy after surgery. I also use the term homework because it's done at home. Some doctors will have their nurses put in sample implants into your bra and quickly you choose a breast size. This can be rushed and lead to picking of the wrong size. That's what we don't, that's what we don't want to do. We want to pick the best size and be happy with it. And that's done by homework. It's done at home and significant effort. There are three parts to the homework. One is watching my educational video on my webpage. Number two is bringing in photos or screenshots of who you're trying to look like. And number three is the rice test. And I'm gonna talk about these. First, number one, the educational video on my webpage. You're watching an educational video right now. But there's also one on choosing implant size. It will take you through A, B, C, D, and double D cups. Think of A as extra small and double D as being extra large. B, C, D, small, medium, large. The video will help you learn what it looks like to have these different shapes. C cups, large C cups, and small D cups are the most frequently chosen implant size but I'm here to help you pick the size that you want. When you're watching the educational video, one trick is if you see the C, that's a D. So bigger implants tend to have a C shape up at the top, which is characteristic of a D cup. Not the smaller, more natural Ds, but the bigger Ds. And this can be seen on angled shots and pictures from the side better than the front view. So when you're watching educational videos on my webpage or looking at pictures, looking for that C shape will help you determine what is less natural and what's getting into the bigger Ds. So part one is watching the educational video, picking implants on my webpage. Number two is getting your own pictures, screenshots, photos from the internet, showing me what you want to be. If you want to be a C cup, don't bring in pictures of Dolly Parton. She's not a C, as most people know. So I'm looking for consistency. How large the breast is in your appearance will help me help you. Most people bring in three or four pictures of what they want to look like. It's fine to bring in pictures of people you think that are too big or people that you think are too small. That helps me understand what you're looking to achieve. The goal is that you're showing me what you want to look like. If you're consistent, then we maximize our chance of you getting that size. The third homework assignment is the rice test. This is a nylon stocking, usually cut off below the knees, a loose knot filled with different volumes of rice. Try a half cup, one cup of rice, cup and a half, two cups. Two cups is getting on the bigger side. The idea is that you take a non-padded sports bra and you take the rice bag and you put it into, on top of your breast, pancaked. So you're flattening the rice bag. And then you're putting on different t-shirts, blouses, um, or sweatshirts to try out the different volumes. The goal of the rice test is how much rice makes you happy. So when you're doing it at home, you wanna have multiple pieces of clothing tight t-shirts, loose t-shirts, um, something you might wear to work, so you can try the different sizes. 
most people will be between one and two cups of rice. Obviously with tight t-shirts, it will look bigger than if you wear a loose blouse. But this is the advantage of homework, which is done at home. So you can get the time to practice and figure out just the right size for you. I then, on your preoperative visit, review these three parts of your homework that you've done. Once again, you've watched the educational video on picking implant size. Number two, you've got pictures and screenshots of who you want to look like. And number three, you've done the rice test. By listening to you, and I've also done your physical exam, so I know your height, your measurements, the distances such as the base diameter of your breast, these measurements help me help you pick your breast implant size. The size that we pick will vary based upon your physical dimensions. For example, a large C cup breast implant will be bigger on a woman who's 5 feet 11 and 180 pounds than a woman who's 5 feet 2 and 120 pounds. So that is my job to help you with this um, assessment of your homework and coming up with the best size for you. I work hard with my patients to help them pick this size. I think it's one of the most important things to do. Also, many studies have shown and many women will say that they wish they went bigger. But we want to go bigger but not too fake, so we have to pick just the right size, maybe a little bit bigger than the rice test, maybe a little bit bigger than the pictures, to make sure that we don't get to small size. Many women wish they went bigger, so this would be something that I would review with somebody. If they've chosen a 350cc implant, I might say maybe we should pick a 375cc or 400cc implant to give us a little bit more, but not too much more, to achieve just the right result. In summary, this video has been on what I call homework. Homework is the work we do before surgery that requires effort and hard work on your part to help me help you find you just the right breast implant size. If we do a good job on the homework, in my experience, my patients have a very happy result and with high satisfaction and are the size that they've always dreamed to be. I hope you found this helpful. It's reviewed in detail with you during your consultation and preoperative visits. Please don't hesitate to call the office to schedule an appointment. I look forward to seeing you in the near future. Thank you.